Standing amid an unsuspecting crowd of people, this is Salman Abedi in the foyer of Manchester Arena on the night of his attack. 19 seconds after CCTV captured his image, he detonated his device. Killing 22 people, his oldest victim 51 years old, his youngest just eight. Earlier that evening, cameras showed his final journey to the venue, leaving the flat where he'd built that device. On his back, a rucksack. Inside, the bomb. He catches a taxi, stopping off at a cash point. Weighing heavy is the bag on his back, loaded with a bomb, filled with nuts and bolts. Innocent bystanders completely unaware of the danger just feet away. He's dropped off at the station from where he's about to make the final leg of his murderous journey, catching the tram that will take him to Victoria Station and on to Manchester Arena. Once there, he makes one final check of the wires on his device before walking to the foyer. These images shown at the Old Bailey, where his brother Hashim Abedi is accused of helping in his plan to kill. He denies all the charges against him. The court heard there were 359 men, women and children in the foyer at the time Salman Abedi let off his bomb. Those closest were just two metres away. Jurors were also told not only of the horrific shrapnel injuries they'd suffered, but also of the 670 people who've been left with psychological trauma. Sejal Karia, ITV News at the Old Bailey.